Hi, I'm Laura from Joy Food Sunshine, and I get asked a lot of questions about buying a Vitamix blender. So today, I'm going to try to answer as many of them as I can for you. I have owned my Vitamix blender and used it every day for nearly a decade. And over the past few years, I've had the privilege of working with Vitamix and I've gotten my hands on over a dozen of these machines. So hopefully my experience with these machines can be helpful to you as you're on the search for the perfect blender. The first question you have to ask yourself when you're in the market for a new blender is which brand should I buy? Here are the reasons why I recommend Vitamix over any other blender on the market. Number one, quality. Vitamix blenders are built to last. What put me over the edge when I was looking to buy a blender is I had a friend who was selling her 12 year old Vitamix blender on eBay for just about the same price as she bought it for. People know that Vitamix will last a lifetime. Number two, power. Vitamix is a powerful blender. I was tired of chewing my green smoothies. I have not had one leaf of spinach left in a green smoothie since I purchased my first Vitamix many years ago. Number three, the warranty. Vitamix stands behind their blenders. The warranties range from five to 10 years on both reconditioned and new models. And the customer service is amazing. Anytime I have had a question or needed anything, Vitamix was there. Number four, the tamper. That might seem like a strange reason to purchase a Vitamix, but it is something that other blenders do not have. I use the tamper almost every time that I blend, and it is so helpful in pushing ingredients down towards the blades and getting a perfect blend every time. And last but not least, a Vitamix blender is truly worth the price. I spent the same amount of money on three subpar blenders that all died within one year than I did on my Vitamix blender that has lasted me over a decade. So I'm going to do a comparison of a bunch of different Vitamix models. I'm going to discuss the features, where to buy one, what model to buy, and I'm going to give you some of my own personal recommendations. So we're going to begin with the Explorian model. This is the Explorian 310, and it is the most basic classic model that you can purchase. Some of the pros of the Explorian, of course the price. This is by far the most budget-friendly blender that Vitamix sells. You can purchase the Explorian new for $329, or you can buy an Explorian blender reconditioned for $289. Another pro of the Explorian is that it has actual buttons and switches that you can turn. Another great feature is its weight. It's the lightest Vitamix blender weighing in at 10 pounds. This blender is the easiest one to put away and bring back out because it is so light and easy to move. One of the things that isn't so great about the Explorian is the color choices. Um, there are only two color choices, red and black. So if you're hoping for a prettier machine that was stainless steel or some other color, um, then the Explorian might not be for you. Something to note about the Explorian is that it's not digital. There's no touch screen or digital interface. Because the Explorian is not digital, there are no preset settings. It doesn't have Bluetooth or wireless capabilities and it can't pair to some of the more advanced Vitamix accessories. One other thing to note about the Explorian is that it is slightly less powerful than some of the more expensive models. The Explorian has a two horsepower motor, while some of the larger models have a 2.2 horsepower motor. So if having a blender that has the maximum horsepower is something that's really important to you, then I would recommend maybe going with a different model. This is the Vitamix S30 blender. The S30 is the smallest blender that Vitamix sells. It comes with two containers, a 40 ounce blending container and a 20 ounce blending container that becomes an instant travel cup, which also has a flip top lid. Some of the great things about the Vitamix S30, number one, price. New, it is $329 and reconditioned, it's $250. A definite plus of this machine is that it comes with two different containers, one of which you could just literally blend your smoothie, take it off, put the lid on, and walk out the door. So convenience is definitely a plus when it comes to this blender. 
Another great thing about the S30 is its size. As you can see, it is a small, personal blender. It fits very well on a countertop and is great for blending small, single servings. While the small size of the S30 could be a pro for some people, for others it could also be a con. It's also not ideal for making things like muffins, quick breads, things like that, that need a little bit larger container. Something else to note is that it only comes in two colors, red and black. Another thing to note about the S30 is that it is not digital. So it doesn't have the capability to use Bluetooth or wireless, and you can't pair any of the self-detect or wireless containers with it. Also, because of its size, it doesn't pair with many of the other Vitamix containers. This is the Vitamix 780 blender. The 780 has many amazing features. I'm gonna start by talking about the touchscreen. When I first used a Vitamix with a touchscreen, I was a little bit leery and highly skeptical because I really liked the old switches and knobs of my old Vitamix blender. However, all of those fears were totally unfounded. The touchscreen is highly responsive, really pretty, and easy to clean. This machine is also very powerful. It has a 2.2 horsepower motor, which is the most powerful motor that Vitamix offers. Another thing I really like about the 780 is that it's actually relatively quiet. Even though it has a large motor, I found that it blends pretty quietly for a Vitamix, which is great if you have small kids who are napping or sleeping when you are cooking in the mornings or at night. Another great feature of the 780 is that it has five programmable settings that you can just set it and forget it. The programs are very helpful if you're making something like soup or something that takes a long time to blend because you can just set your blender and let it do its thing. While the other two models that we've discussed so far come with a five-year warranty, the 780 has a seven-year warranty. So it's guaranteed for even longer when you buy it new and a five-year warranty when you buy it reconditioned. So one of the things to note about this blender is that even though it has a touch screen, it is not wireless. So it doesn't pair with the self-detect containers or other wireless features that the other models of Vitamix offer. Something to note about the 780 is that it also only comes in two colors, red and black. I think the black looks beautiful, but if you're looking for a model that has different color options, then you might wanna pick a different blender. Another con of the 780 is the price. New, this blender is $719, and that is a significant jump from the other blenders that we have discussed in this video. However, I will say a reconditioned 780 is $399. So if you like the look and the feel and the touch screen of the 780, buying it reconditioned is definitely the way to go. Last but not least, let's talk about the Vitamix Ascent 3500 blender. I have been blending with this blender every day for the last two plus years. This blender is what Vitamix likes to call future proof. It has both wireless and Bluetooth capabilities and pairs with all the self-detect containers and accessories. There are many things to love about the Ascent 3500 blender. Number one is the touch screen. Not only does the A3500 have a responsive touchscreen, but it also has a knob. For those of you who, like me, enjoy the actual knobs to turn when you're blending. The Vitamix A3500 comes with a 10-year warranty, which is the longest warranty offered on any new Vitamix blender. One of the cool features of this machine is that because it is wirelessly enabled, it can detect the size of container that is attached to the base, and it makes adjustments accordingly. Also, if the container is removed during blending, the machine shuts off automatically, which is an amazing safety feature. The A3500 comes in six different colors, and they're all absolutely stunning. So this machine looks gorgeous sitting on your counter. Like the 780, the A3500 has the 2.2 horsepower motor and is also really quiet. Another great feature of the A3500 is that it has a programmable timer. So if you have a recipe that you would like to blend for a certain amount of time, you can set the timer and the blender will do the rest of the work. And lastly, the A3500 has five pre-programmed settings. You can just start up the program and make soups, smoothies, frozen desserts, and many other things. One of the cons of this blender is the price. New, it is $619 to $649, depending on the color that you choose. So that's something to keep in mind. 
refurbished, you can purchase this blender for about $499, which is a great deal. So keep that in mind also. Something else to note about the Ascent is that it is a pretty heavy machine. It is one of the heavier blenders weighing in at 14.2 pounds. So if you plan on storing it and taking it in and out of storage every day, that's just something to keep in mind. If you're looking to invest in a blender that will last, the Ascent 3500 is my number one recommendation. The Ascent 3500 is basically the Mercedes of Vitamix blenders. I cannot think of a feature that I would want in a blender that the Ascent 3500 does not have. If you want an amazing blender at the lowest cost possible, then the Explorian is definitely the model that I recommend. There is nothing you can't do with this blender, and at the low price of a reconditioned Explorian being $289, it's basically a steal. The first Vitamix blender that I bought was a reconditioned model, and it is still alive and kicking nearly a decade later. Here are a few reasons why buying reconditioned from Vitamix is an excellent choice. First, the Vitamix reconditioning process is incredibly thorough. They will not let a machine go through the process unless it meets their highest standards. Buying reconditioned from Vitamix is like buying brand new. Number two, the price. If you notice, the price of a reconditioned blender is significantly lower in most cases than the new model. You are basically getting the same blender for a much lower cost. Lastly, warranty. Vitamix stands behind its reconditioned machines. Every reconditioned Vitamix blender has a five year warranty. As you know, you can get a Vitamix from many different retailers. However, I prefer to go directly to the source and buy straight from Vitamix. Vitamix has amazing customer service, stands behind its products, and wants to do whatever they can to help their customers. Another reason to buy from Vitamix is they often run sales and promotions on the blenders on their website. So just watch for those or purchase reconditioned for the best deal. Thank you so much. I hope this has been helpful and will guide you in your quest to buy a new Vitamix.